We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Hexon Oilers take on the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bubblebee park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Man, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. for 10 yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And he finds open space, he's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch! And it's first and 10. laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second and three. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Man, those bones can boogie. The lack of muscle, fat, organs, and skin really makes it easy for him to Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. They're And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. down but here he's just making up ground yeah like the way the commission makes up news second down in inches hot hot one hot two hot hot three. just keep pounding the ball right up the 
gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And that'll bring up second and one. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. Must be opposite day, because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And they'll bring him third down and seven. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Now that punter's gonna find a cutoff. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball's down. And it's first and ten. <laughs> well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. Running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. And that'll bring up third down and in inches. That's 
the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got to uh... <clears throat> Hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Gonna shave a few days off his life. <laughs> Third down, and the punter is warming up. <laughs> oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Friends was an all pro MFL hit. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. It's three yards on that run. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! Skeleton lap dance ahead of that totally bone strip club last year, Grim. <laughs> yeah, she said for 20 bucks, I'll take it all off. I didn't know she met her head. That was uh, kind of weird. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he picks up 10 on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. And he picks up two yards on the catch. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And we're at the two-minute warning. I gotta pee. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage on here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Gets the ball, gets a 
first down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. That's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Second down and two. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Rim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling death, time out, to stop our own clocks. You know, Grim? Truer words never spoken, my friend. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Satan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. A nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners that 
right to that catch and score. Nicely done. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Wow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Runs it for four yards. Second down and six. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly second down and seven <laughs> and then a first down from a great catch was it a catch though let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out first and two Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? And that'll be second down and four. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. and picks up seven yards right there. Second 
Second and three. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he picks up about six on the play. Second and three. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I don't think they're going to dance now. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. You can't keep a good mutant down. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> he did it! He scores! And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I'm off. I take all you mutants out. Yeah, that's right. What you talking about? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, with a brutal hit. It's first and ten. It's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second, ten, and four. was an all-pro NFL hit. First and eight to go. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good.
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that'll be second down and four. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. Not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey. Less than a wife with a headache. Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Third down and three. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called set straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. It's the fourth quarter and we're at the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go what? And that'll bring up second and one. Nice hit. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. And it's first and ten. That's a gain of ten yards. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. And he just, he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. No more timeouts for the defense. Or the offense, Bricks. That's, that's the important part. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle! 
When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And that'll be second and eight to go. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Remember, folks, in the MFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Second down and long. The Hellboys are defeated today. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so.